Okay, this looks better. Maybe <laughs> it's still spinning. Uh, I'm not sure this is working today. Anyway, I'm just going to keep rolling. Um, yeah, it's just not responding. Hmm. Oh, wait. Now something's happening. Okay, now we popped out. All right. Now we're good. Okay. So welcome. This is... Uh, Body Talk Friday, High Vibe Friday, where we tune into our 50 trillion cells, hear what our precious body is trying to tell us. And what I'm learning lately is how everything I'm thinking and how everything I'm saying to myself now, how everything I'm saying with my mouth is forming my 50 trillion cells to be more powerful, more strong, to youth instead of, um, you know, maybe aging. Because uh, I'm starting to believe that aging is a disease. <laughs> there. Aging is a disease. And so I am all about just youthing, getting younger and younger and younger and younger and younger. And uh, there's nothing in our DNA that suggests that we should die. There's nothing in our DNA that suggests that we should grow old and age. When you think about it, aging is a disease. It's when our, our cells get shriveled up and things start to, you know, get deteriorate. There's nothing in our body that would say that nothing in our DNA that would predict that and um, so I'm all about being on the edge where I am um, uh, using why not I have nothing to lose but wrinkles and old age so I have a number of ways to do that one of them is um, releasing all bitterness, bitterness and resentment Releasing all. Hi, Lee. Thank you, Lee. Oh, that's so sweet of you. So glad you joined us from England. So releasing all bitterness and, and um, resentment is one of the big things that weigh us down, and they hold us in our past. When our path, our past has nothing to do with us. It only gave us the opportunity to make some choices and be who we are today. So if we can let go of the old story and start new, we've got a huge thing lifted off of us. Another thing is these patches that I've been wearing that uh, regenerate our stem cells. Hope, good morning. Regenerate our stem cells. Once you reach my age, we have no more stem cells. Um, so, I mean, that just means... But these patches, anyone who wants to know about them, reach out. Um, reset our genes... 4,000 genes back to a younger state and actually inspire our, G, our, our stem cells to come back to life. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, another thing is to watch our thoughts and watch our words. Watch our thoughts and watch our words. How much of what we're thinking, how much of what we're saying is what we are, have been programmed to say and think. Can you, can you embrace yourself as a sovereign individual and go, well, I know that's the way I was raised. I know that's the way my neighbor is. I know that's the way they are at work. But is that the way I really want to be? And just really ask that question. Okay, it's telling me that everything is too slow. So I'm going to close everything. Everything I can. <laughs> This. And I think that's all I can get rid of. Okay, so hopefully that will be a little better. So where are we, where have we inspired our own demise by the way we are thinking and the way that we are speaking? What are we not accepting about ourselves? Carl Rogers, one of my mentors when I was going through my master's program as a counselor, said, it's a curious thing that when I accept myself and things just the way they are, that things can then change. Darcy, good morning, Darcy. I think that might be my sister. 
Uh, yeah, it's kind of my phone, my my internet this morning. I think. Are you? Am I freezing up for you guys too? Are you guys getting me frozen? Janine says I'm freezing up. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna ask her to put in a comment. Um, so what are we saying to ourselves? What are we entertaining with our mind? And you know, it's so, it's so tricky because we're so used to subconsciously just letting it roll, letting it roll, letting it roll, letting it roll, letting it roll. And we have to be, we have to stand guards at the door of our mind. We have to be ultimately vigilant of the things that are going on in our thoughts. We must, if we want to break out of the social conditioning, we want to break out of the paradigms that have been placed on us, um, is what you have going on in your life what you want in your life right now? If not, ask yourself these, these certain questions. Do I like what I'm thinking? Do, do my thoughts make me feel good? Okay, great, Janine. Yeah, I know it was, I had to come out and come back in, so thanks. Um, do I like the words that I'm saying? When I say these words, do I feel better or not? I'm just getting really convicted right now because there are some things I've been saying that don't feel good. Every time we say those things and it weighs ourselves down, that weighing ourselves down is causing disharmony in our body. If we're not feeling good, we are in disharmony. If we are not feeling good, we are in disharmony. So ask yourself, what in your life is not feeling good? And it's time to take inventory and then time to shift that. Okay, that must have been somebody else. Um, yeah, so let's just ask ourselves that question right now. Do I like everything that's going on in my life? If I don't, what are my thoughts and what are the things I'm speaking that are keeping me stuck in this spot? Because our words and our thoughts will keep us stuck to the past. Hi, Daphne. Will keep us stuck to the past. Our words and our thoughts can keep us stuck to the past. We did this exercise yesterday in the Women's Self-Love Journey Program. We opened our, our, our arms and we're open-hearted, and you cannot be in fear and be open-hearted. If you hold the deliberate intent of ease and open-heartedness, you cannot be in fear. What's going on in the planet right now is that um, the powers that be, I don't know who they are, I don't care to know who they are, want the world to be in fear, because as soon as we're in fear and stress, our immune system tanks, and then we get ill and that's what they want so that we will be hooked into the medical model and buy prescription drugs for the rest of our lives it's the whole grand plan so if you want to be not one of them that's stuck in their quagmire just going on doing what we've always done, saying things that make us acceptable to other people, instead of going, no, I don't, I don't feel like saying that. I don't want to agree with that that you just said. I don't want to do that. That's not what I want. Um, there was something that I heard in the movie Gladiator two days ago that really rocked me. It said, what we do in life echoes for eternity. <laughs> What we do in life echoes for eternity. Just think about that. What we do in life echoes for eternity. How do you want to be remembered in eternity? I want to be remembered as generous of heart, uh, generous of being, being love, not letting myself get into situations that don't feel good. And certainly once I'm in there, if I recognize what I've done, then certainly getting back out. How do you want to be remembered for eternity for this lifetime? There are schools of thought that we live more than one lifetime. But for this lifetime, 
How do you want to be remembered for eternity for this life, for this lifetime? How do you want to be remembered for this lifetime? I want to be remembered as love, but not squishy, mushy love, like sometimes tough love. You guys who are following me know that sometimes <laughs> I can be a little tough love-ish. Because I'm fierce. I'm getting very, very fierce in my mission and my purpose. And it's becoming more and more that my mission and purpose is about helping you remember your dream, your initial dreams when you were little, and help you come out of self-abandonment and start to stand on your feet like a mighty warrior with a cape flying and saying, this is my dream and I know the formula to make it happen and that is to watch my words and watch my thoughts and then let my actions, hi Kathy, good morning, let my actions follow, 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 follow my thoughts and my words. First it's a thought and then it's an action. First it's a thought and then it's an action. What are we ruminating on? What are we marinating in? This will determine whether we are living a contributing life or a soul-sucking life. It's all about coming back to that soul calling. And you had it when you were little. When you were little, you had it. So I just want you to take a deep breath on all of this. Let it come in and saturate all of your pores, all of your skin, every one of your 50 trillion cells, all of this truth. Just let it reverberate, 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 reverberate. Just fill you with white light, light of truth. You can just ask right now if it's just like a, it hurts your brain to go, God, I know I'm saying things that are la la la. Just, let's just, let's just ask universe to wash us, wash us, wash us, wash us, wash us. That everything that is not serving us would be released. When is the new, when is the full moon? I meant to look last night and I got sidetracked. Does anybody tell me when the full moon is? Because we could burn some shit today. Let's see. Hold on. Next. Full. Okay, hold on. Next. Full. Moon. Okay, let's see when the next full moon is. January 17th is the 14th. So on Monday, we will do a full moon ceremony. If I forget, would you guys, uh, would you guys remind me? Uh, yeah, so we're going to burn things that, but you might just write them down right now, the things that are coming to your mind. Put them down on a piece of paper. You can rip them up and flush it down the toilet. You can burn it. Just make sure you burn it over the kitchen sink so you have access to water. But let the white light just wash you. And just, just imagine this exercise right now. And just imagine that this white, golden, pink light is like overtaking your body. And everything that isn't serving you is getting squished out because there's no room for it anymore. It's just like reaching out, okay? Just feel this, feel this vision. Let it just be. Feel this vision, feel this vision. <sighs> counterclockwise spin of white, gold, and pink light. Throw down a grounding cord to Mother Earth. Give her message for you. Mother Earth is just very happy that I acknowledged her. When you get your message, go ahead and put Mother Earth's message in. Mother Earth. Yes. Own it. That's what she's saying. You're tethered to Mother Earth, to the support of Mother Earth. Ask Mother Earth what she requires of you today. And it's always something that is making you more solid and more of who you are. Because when we are 100% in our power, that's when we're most serving Mother Earth. So a white, gold, and pink light. Thank you, Daphne. Yes, blessings to Mother Earth. White, gold, and pink light. 
circulating in a counterclockwise spin all the way up, 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 all the way up. Through our 50 trillion cells, as you're going up through your body and you find an achy spot, a sore spot, something with a diagnosis, put your hand there and ask what its message is to you. What is your message to me? What do you need from me right now? What do you want me to eat more of? Eat less of. What do you want me to drink more of? Drink less of. What do you want me to do with my body? How do you want me to move my body? What do you need from me, body? What do you need from me, body? Just tune into your body and get its message for you. Our body is the greatest gift. It's what's housing our soul in this lifetime. How can we take better care of it? How can we take exquisite care of it? This morning as I was making my celery juice and then making my heavy metal detox smoothie, and getting ready for the day, I was just so thankful for this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful food that I eat that is pure. <laughs> it's very pure, very simple, and it is nourishing my body. I eat no fats. I rarely eat meat. Uh, the only fat I have is, Kathy, you'll love this, an avocado here and there. I've decided I am going to eat an avocado maybe a day. That's, that's my only source of fat. The reason is that the liver um, gets overloaded. It has been storing all the toxins from gas fumes, from uh, garbage that we've eaten, from stress, from, cord from um, what is it, adrenaline, which is this poison to the body. It's storing all of that. It's storing all of that. And then when we... Um, when we eat fats, it puts more of a burden on the liver because what it's trying to do is detox and get it out of our body. And so when we're eating fats, it puts an extra burden on the body. But that's the only fat I have is, you know, maybe an avocado every day. No, no olive oil on my salads. I'll just put lemon juice and honey. And um, then I eat a lot of steamed potatoes. And eat salads. And I have my celery juice, my heavy metal detox smoothie. It's pretty much raw and organic. I'm not against eating meat, but um, for me, it just doesn't work for my body. I will crave it, and I will have some, especially in the winter months, but I always thank the animal for its life. So that's just the way that my body has instructed me and continues to instruct me on how I am to eat for this body. So tune into your body and see, what, how do you want me to eat for you? And there might be a way that you get more and more and more and more sensitive to what your body really needs and what your body really wants. Um, because it's going to haul us around for the rest of our days on this earth. So I want my body to be in peak condition. What is your body saying to you right now? What does it want you to eat less of, eat more of? What does it want you to drink less of and drink more of? I also don't do alcohol anymore. I, because I have the gift of getting a headache every time I drink it, thank God. Because I used to pound a lot. <laughs> I, used to I used to think I was an alcoholic. And then when I left Hawaii and came to the mainland, I was like, I just kind of dropped it and I'm like, oh God, thanks. I don't have to go to rehab. So. What is your body saying to you? Go ahead and drop it in the comments. What is it saying that it wants you to eat more of and eat less of? My body's telling me more onions. Uh, onions, lemon, honey, onions, oranges. Yeah, more of just what I'm doing, steam potatoes. <laughs> when I steam potatoes, I just add water to it and it's just so creamy. I eat an avocado a day on a salad. I make homemade avocado dressing. No oils, no meat at all. Yes, Kathy. Woo, woo, woo. Um, documented, this really does help it heal chronic illness. So I'm on a mission to clean up the eye floaters in my eyes and the ringing in my ears. And that is from toxic overload in my, in my body. More kale, Daphne's body is saying. So as we make our body our friend and we don't betray it, just like we don't betray our soul and our soul's desire, and we resist our mouth's 
temptation to go, oh, because I mean, I would love to pound into a ton of fries or a bag of potato chips. <sighs> um, but that craving is something that you can ignore. Really consult your stomach. What does your stomach want you to eat? What does your digestive system need from you? You are on your way, L. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, I feel like I am too. I mean, I'm adding nothing that can contribute. Dairy and uh, soy, corn, dairy and fats, I think. No, mostly dairy, big time dairy. Giselle from the Philippines, welcome. Um, mostly dairy feeds the viruses that are in our body. So the sooner we can get rid of all dairy, which is a big challenge. I walk past the cheese counter and I want to just like dive into it and just gobble it all up. But I know better. Mm. Love cheese. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze now. Almonds is what Daphne's body is saying. <clears throat> Pardon me. Pardon a moi. Oh, good. I've got my down jacket right here. All of a sudden getting a little cold. It's because of drinking the celery juice. Kind of not feeling good today. Okay, Giselle. So ask your body, what does it need from you to heal and restore today? What does your body need to heal and restore today? When I'm not feeling well, I pound vitamin C and zinc. Like every 15 minutes, I'm doing dropperfuls of zinc and taking vitamin C. I just kill it. <laughs> And if it really feels like it's getting out of my hands, then I will take a Tylenol cold and flu nighttime and just crash. And by the next day, I'm golden. So what is your body saying it needs from you? So what is it saying to you with not feeling good today? Put your hands on your heart and say, I honor you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make my own cheese with cashews, time consuming but worth it, wow. That sounds amazing, Kathy. Kinda emotional day for me. Is it the anniversary of something, honey? Or just that time of the month? So honor you, my body, honor you, my body. What do you need and want from me today? What do you need and want from me today? What do you need and want from me today? Yes, 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 Communicating fully, communicating fully, communicating fully. Feel white light coming down. Thank you, Kathy, for doing that for Giselle. White light energy coming down through your body, purifying everything, everything, everything down into Mother Earth. Then inhale, pull that white light energy up and bring a torus around you of white light and love white light just bathe your aura bathe your body with white light every single one of your 50 trillion cells is getting bathed 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 saturated leached through like the Indians used to put acorns underneath a, a stream that was flowing and it would leach out all the tannin from the acorns this is what I'm seeing with our cells it's just this white light energy is just leaching everything out of our bodies that is impure that needs to go 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 just leaching it out leaching it out 
reaching it out. There it goes, 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 there it goes. And ask yourself, where am I? Where am I <clears throat> not aligning with my soul? Where am I doing what I don't want to do? What, where am I doing what I don't feel right doing? What in my life is crushing my soul? What in my life is, thanks for that beautiful, um, what do you call those? Icon? Meme? I don't know. Pretty, Daphne. Where am I throwing myself under the bus? And more than likely, the aches and pains in your body is the accumulation of this. <clears throat> so as we align, come back, come back to our soul, call all parts of us back home. I call all parts of me back home. I call all parts of me back home. I call all parts of me back home. As we do that, oh, Vicki, good morning. Yes, yeah, sending hugs, love, and prayers to you all. Now, just feel this love for yourself. Feel the harmony in your body. Feel the harmony in your body. The invitation is to make this a recurring event on your calendar every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because especially in the world the way it is today, we need this booster shot every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can handle yourself with the replays on Tuesday, Thursday, weekends, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern, wherever that time is for you in the world, put it on your calendar as a recurring event so that you can do this for yourself and show up 100% for you. Have your own back. Have your own back. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Come back home to yourself. Now we're going to send this beautiful energy out to the world, out to the entire planet. Grace and mercy, 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 grace and mercy. Love and light, love and light, love and light. Lightness of being. Where do you feel heavy? Where do you feel heaviness in your life? Let's just put lightness, lightness, lightness. Ask, who does this belong to? This, this heaviness, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? The thoughts in your head, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? If we ask that question for three days in a row as a, as a mantra, just who does this belong to? 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 The layers will shed from us. We will be unplugged from the matrix. Who does this belong to? Because 98% of the thoughts that come into your head are not your own. Okay, thoughts are entities that once they're thought, they have a life of their own for forever. And so they're just searching for a vibrational match. You just, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? You guys can practice this all today and Saturday and Sunday. When I see you on Monday, your life will be completely different. You will feel so much lighter because we're carrying the collective weight, okay? That's not for us to do. That's not for us to do. We are to surrender the collective weight to the Christ within, to Mother Earth, to God, not carry it. If we were meant to carry it, it would feel good in our bodies. If we were meant to carry it, it would not break our bodies down. But we need to just release it, release it, release it, release it. Let's just do that right now. Let's just surrender all burdens, all burdens, all fears. We're just going to surrender it down to Mother Earth. Surrender it up to God, however you want to do it. Just surrender it, surrender it, surrender it, surrender it, surrender it, surrender it. Take your control out of it and just release it. Surrender it. A couple things in my life I'm just surrendering right now. Just surrender it, surrender it, surrender it, surrender it, surrender it. Oh good, I'm almost finished. Vicki, we've got this love and kindness, gratefulness and being thankful is the way 
to bring you joy into your heart and soul. Tune up the music, turn down the drama. I was listening to YouTube and singing along with my favorite songs. Felt so good. Music soothes the soul. Bravo, Vixter. Bravo. I just love this community. I just love this gathering. But we know we can come here and lift each other up. And I'm so honored that you all spend time with me here. I would be doing this whether you were here or not. It just makes all the difference in the world to me that you're here. Uh, joining with me because our combined energy becomes geometrical. Casting all my cares into God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come unto me, all you are all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Not me, God. Maybe me too. <laughs> but what I'm talking about is God. Okay, my loves, I'm going to say goodbye for the weekend. Just tune in right now and see what your body needs from you for the weekend. Thank you, honey. Thank you, Vicky. Um, tune into your body. What does it need from you this weekend? to restore and and regenerate what does your body need what does your body need what does your body need just tune in mine's just saying rest and fun rest and fun i am able to play my instruments now so so music is played here oh yes Good, Kathy. Release and rest. Mother Earth, li love life, love yourself. So spread your light everywhere you go. When you Before you go into a building, I love you, Janine. Thank you, honey. Before you go into a building, before you enter your place of work, before you go into your grocery store, know that your energy and your light is broadcasting in front of you, blowing the doors open and shifting the energy of and shine your light. Have a blessed weekend, Earth Angels. Yes, Kath. Shine your light. Own it. Own it. Own it. Smile at that person. Come out of your shyness. Open your face. Open your heart. And reach out and give a compliment to everybody you see in the aisles. Oh, I love your shirt. Oh, your hair looks so pretty today. Oh, um, your shoes are great. Oh, you have the best smile. Oh, your skin looks so good. Oh, you look so pretty today. I do this all day long. <laughs> Why not? Why not? And I've just brightened somebody's day. Okay, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you Monday, if not for more. If not before. Uh, for more of my work, go to 3keys2selflove.com. The number three, keys like you put in your car, to selflove.com. And I'll see you on Monday. Blessings. Bye-bye. Love you, Giselle. Take good care of yourself.